So this is the Coney Hostel. This is the guard's wife and um, their house. This is our shuttle that takes us to our villages and back. There's no one at the hostel today because they're all either in Niamey or in the bush. I'm only here because it's my last day and I'm going to Niamey today. This is our little porch area where we have our parties, dinners, just general hanging out. Here is our kitchen area. It's rather dark. Let me turn on the light. Not that that did much good. Okay, this is the cubby room. Yeah, it's pretty dark still. But um, each volunteer has his or her own cubby to put their food in. Our water filters, motorcycle helmet. Here is our kitchen, which I absolutely love because it smells like a cottage. Stove. And Pink Coney is known for their cooks. A fridge. Back out. This is our shower, also known as Pleasure Town, because of our group showers. Awesome. We love it. Our latrine is through there, but I'll spare you. This is our garage or carport. Right now it's full of COS and PCV stuff, so we couldn't park our car under it, as you can see. There's Megan walking around. She'll be the new RR for the next three months. This is the RR house, um, also known as the regional representative. The current one is in hiding, because that's the way he is. This is the magazine or another trunk room, also where we store our mattresses. This is the bureau slash hangout TV room. So we watch movies in here on these dirty old couches and mattresses. And this is our computer room kind of dark. There we go. Where we do work. Here are our mailboxes. Our medicine cabinet. You can close that. Our library. All the books are covered right now to keep the dust out. Here's our library. And this is our trunk room, where we store our things. Here is my trunk. You can hardly see it. It's too dark right now. Go around back. This is where we sleep on these millet stock beds and if it rains we go into this cage right here and sleep in there. This is our back latrine and our back shower, our workout area for our lazy guys and where we usually have our mud slide mud pit for summer solstice. And that is the end of the tour. Oh, there's a hammock over there. That's it.